Okay, so I got a uh, 2020 Palisade limited edition, which I, I didn't even realize, but the limited edition Palisade is their top trim for 2020. So this sucker has got all the bells and whistles. Um, let me show you a quick, quick look at it. It's in super good shape. Uh, it's a blue, it's a very dark blue. It is blue and I really like the interior. Like I said, it is, it's the limited edition. It's just fully loaded here. Just uh, gorgeous. We got the car seats in and the boosters for the girls. Of course, it's got the rear, rear row, it's down. The only thing um, that's a little bit off on it for me is the infotainment system. Okay, so just want to see where I'm at here with the 2020 Palisade. We just picked up, you can see the model. This is on the software update, the version number firmware map version. What I'm trying to fix is my Android Auto full screen. So let's take a look um, if I can get in here. Android Auto you can see it's it's still set up where it's got this whole area blacked out and Android Auto is only a, a small portion of the normal maps so if I go into my normal map see it takes up the full screen but my Android Auto map um, Yeah, it only takes up a little bit, and it's got this icon over here. So clearly it's time to update the software in the vehicle, right? So here's how to do it. Um, the first thing I noticed that I had no registered vehicle under my Hyundai account and I was signed in but you don't need to you can simply select um, do this later find your vehicle in my case it's the 2020 Palisade and and then it's going to ask you to download it to an SD card for me it was the D drive and you've got to have you know 35 to 45 gigabytes of data available on your your thumb drive to download and extract the data onto the thumb drive so i'm just double checking now there's my thumb drive it's got 119 gigabytes so i've got plenty of room there uh, it's formatted properly which is efat efat e uh, so i did a quick reformat to make sure i was in the right um, format for the installation onto the thumb drive. Okay, so now uh, you're ready to download. You're going to click next, confirm, it's just double checking you've got the right portable hard drive set up. You don't erase something that you don't want to. So you click yes. Okay, it's going to format all data on the D drive. Click OK, click yes. <laughs> and then here, I didn't have enough hard drive space on my computer to download the 75 gigabytes um, from the Hyundai portal. So I had to clear off some hard drive space, and then I come back to it. Uh, I didn't record all that piece, but I came back. <laughs> and now I've got enough room on my C drive, because what it's going to do, it's going to download the software to your C drive or your hard drive and then it's going to copy it and extract it onto that thumb drive. Okay, so here it is. We're back to here. We're double checking. I've got enough room on the hard drive and I've got enough room on the thumb drive. So again, D drive. I'm going to click yes. That I've got enough uh, storage space on the, on the hard drive. And yes, it's going to erase all the data. So here we are um, downloading at 50 times the normal speed, just so we can get through this a little bit quicker. Uh, bottom line is it took an hour and 20 minutes uh, for the whole download and unpack and write to the USB drive. And it only took about 11 minutes for that first portion to be complete. You can see down at the bottom it says the download speed complete. So it downloaded the files. And now all it's doing is uh, copying or writing these files to the USB drive. 
but again it still it took an hour and 20 minutes just to get that whole piece done uh, I've got a high-speed internet connection running at like I don't know 400 megabits um, coming on fiber so that wasn't a problem uh, it was more just the unpacking and writing to the USB drive that takes a little bit Yeah, it took so long that at one point my computer screen turned off or the computer went to sleep or something. Uh, and then I noticed at night I got it back up and, and on. Uh, so it continued to work in the background. And then I also ran like a speed test at one point real quick just to check my uh, internet connection because I didn't realize it had already downloaded. But uh, here it is, home stretch, finishing the download and the, the write to the USB drive. Okay, so when your download is complete, you'll be at this screen, uh, and you can see there are a couple different options you can do. You can close the program, you can open the folder, um, pull another vehicle to download some additional um, updates for another car. Uh, so I just clicked on open the folder, and this is going to open up your USB drive, and you can see all the updates that are on there. And in my case, I believe it ran maybe three or four different updates to get it from the original software, firmware, and map updates to the latest and greatest, which I believe was published in December of 2023. And if you click on installation instructions, that'll pull up their website that basically walks you through uh, how to do everything that we just did. Um, how to download it, how to uh, copy it over to USB drive, and then uh, how it's going to look in your vehicle. So that's a good resource to take a look at uh, if it's your first time updating your, your car. Okay, so what I want to do is I've downloaded um, the update. At least I think I have. This is the first time doing this uh, in this vehicle. So uh, I put it on this USB drive. Uh, it was probably about, I don't know, 35 megabytes. It says you need at least 35 um, to be able to run the update. So I did it on the software. Uh, I have a video of that whole process of downloading it and putting it on the USB drive. And now I'm gonna actually try to update the software in the car. So yeah, let's check it out. It's uh, always a bright day here in Tampa. Okay, we're gonna go to setup and then we're gonna go to general. Okay, then we're gonna go to system info then we're going to go to software update all right and here is where it shows where i'm at with this vehicle like i said this is we're in 2024 right now this is a 2020 vehicle that appears uh, to just have have basically no updates done to it as best i can tell so what i want to do now is um back out of here it's giving me the battery discharge warning for having it just in accessory mode. All right, so I'm going to use this connection down here. Right? And I'm going to plug in my USB. And I believe this is the only data uh, USB plug in the vehicle. There it is, it's in. Okay, wow, okay, so as soon as I plugged that in, this popped up straight away. I didn't even, I didn't press any buttons on the screen. It says, new features will be available, rear camera and blue link. No features will be available during the update. Okay, I gotcha. So I'm gonna update it to this version There we go. And I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna do the quick update. Uh, I've kinda heard the general update takes forever in a day. So let's do a quick update. We'll start immediately after system reboot. 
So yeah, just, just doing some research. The uh, quick update kind of shuts down all the features of the infotainment system and makes them unusable while it runs the update and updates all the hardware, firmware, software, uh, whatever. I guess not the hardware, the software. <laughs> But if you do the uh, the other, the full update, that lets you use some of your infotainment system while it runs the update, and it takes way longer. So uh, do the quick update whenever you update your uh, Palisade. So running a quick um, system update, map update on my 2020 Palisade right now. Um, it's still on one of four, but it's moving along. And I'll be curious to see if this uh, makes some big changes in the vehicle, <laughs> at least in the infotainment system, that is. Okay, so take it a while. So I went ahead and get a get another round of coffee. <laughs> but hey, the good news is this car is uh, it's a pretty nice interior. It's a it's a good place to to spend some time. So uh, all right, cheers. Oh, that's good. For the details. Curious to see what it shows. Software version, new routing for traffic, automatically calculates and displays time and distance. Okay. Optical route. Settings, route guidance. Closes windows when the vehicle enters a tunnel. Okay. Activate upon air and power. Parking tickets through the navigation system. I don't know if we'll actually use that, but interesting. Sounds of Nature 3. <laughs> okay. All right. Quickly switch between radio channels by entering the desired frequency in the numeric keypad. Okay. So there you have it. Oh wow, cool, it looks like a lot of this has now changed. Excellent, but this is different right here. Guest change user, guest is currently logged in. Here, unplug my USB. Just unplug the USB and we'll plug back in. This is just what I'm using for Android Auto. And reading USB.
so it automatically comes up. Nice. It does look better. Can I go full screen there with it? Okay, so mission complete. All the updates are done and Android Auto now. Let me show you this. We go to maps. Can I go back to the middle? Go to maps. Ta da! We got a full screen, baby. Excellent. So, mission complete. Uh, two hour update is done and I've got the Android Auto working perfectly. I got the, I got the full screen. Um, which is which is what I really wanted. Uh, I was tired of looking at the little like you know two thirds of a screen. Uh, 